is happening. Welcome back to The Pass is Live. Thank you all for joining me tonight for the return of the weekend recap, the weekend series where I showcase my findings from flea markets, antique malls, and in this particular weekend, a couple card shows that I went to out in the Ohio area. That's where I went to today, kind of on a whim. I mistakenly thought there was a card show at Hartville, which is about two and a half hours from me. I must have been half asleep whenever I looked at it and drove out that way and... Good thing I checked before I got there and realized the show was already over. So I made my way to Cuyahoga Falls after a quick uh, Google search on Beckett and uh, saw they were having a card show out there advertising like 100 tables plus or 100 dealers maybe. So I went there first, but on my way out there, I stopped at a couple antique malls. And one in particular is massive just over the border of Pennsylvania. It's called the I-76 Antique Mall, and this place is huge to the point where like, you almost can't see from one end of the building to another. So I managed to find some things there, and every time I go there, I see cards a lot of times that are ridiculously overpriced. And, uh, but most of the time I find random novelty items. And you see before you here an action figure on the card that I did not have in my PC. It's not very often that I bring home with me action figures that are carded for my uh, my collection. I don't have already. Um, this one in particular, Batman the Animated Series, the hit cartoon that uh, debuted in 1992. These were released in 93. And they're not super expensive by any means. They're very collectible, but they're very hard to find in the wild. I know every time I go to Comic-Cons and stuff like that, I feel like these figures are scooped up almost instantaneously as soon as those shows begin. And I never really see them, so... I was pretty stoked to come across a few of these. This one in particular, you have Killer Croc. I loved these figures as a kid. I was always a huge fan of Batman the Animated Series. Um, and like I said, these figures aren't super expensive. You see here, I paid 20 bucks for this, which is like, yeah, it's kind of like a common price if you see them in the wild. Most of the time on eBay, you're pay like at least 25 bucks for this figure in particular on the card with shipping and such. But I have a couple of these. I always wanted to get the entire line. I just never kind of got around to doing it. I have like Mr. Freeze and a few other ones. I'm not going to get all of the different variants of Batman, but I do have Combat Belt Batman, which is a pretty pricey figure uh, these days and goes for a couple hundred bucks. But Killer Croc, I was pretty excited to see that in a bin full of different Batman figures. So for 20 bucks, I had to grab that as I continue to piece together that toy line. The next one that I decided to bring back with me is from the exact same line. This is Poison Ivy. As a kid, back in 93, as I'm sure most of you would agree with me, I didn't really want um, girly figures at all whatsoever. But we got Poison Ivy here before us with um, the Venus Flytrap crossbow accessory. This one also 20 bucks. Poison Ivy is usually a few bucks more than um, Killer Croc, but not too much more. So the cards on these are super nice. The bubbles are firmly attached. So I was like, 20 bucks for both of these? I will definitely uh, pick those up. And it's an awesome feeling coming across figures in the wild that um, you'll never see, especially ones uh, for your PC. So pretty stoked on that. As, my, as I made my way around, this place has got a ton of showcases and just so much stuff to look at. You could spend all day in there. I came across this, and it caught my eye. I was like, whoa, I remember that. I remember buying this as a kid. And thinking it was like so cool. In the 90s, they had so many different novelty items and things of that nature that uh, you'd be surprised what some of these things fetch these days. So this is a sealed canister or tin of Ouch Bubble Gum that has 24 Band-Aid-like stickers inside of it. And I was like, whoa, that really uh, takes me back to the early 90s. I remember getting that and like thinking it was so cool. I was like, for five bucks, I'm not going to pass on that. And if, like I said, if you if you would eBay search a lot of this stuff from the 90s, even still sealed, uh, you'd be very surprised at what this could fetch. I think about two months ago, one of these sealed sold for 100 bucks on eBay. So I don't plan on selling it. I will keep this in my PC and uh, relive those memories with it on my shelf. So I had to grab that. I was pretty stoked on that. And then the next thing I found at the uh, I-76 Antique Mall... Speaking of memories, this definitely caught my eye. I know I saw this the last time I was there. It might be like once a year that I'll stop at this place. And uh, I saw this the last time. They had a few different variations of this with different cards in the front. I was like, I have to bring that home with me today. The last time I was like, that's so cool because I had this as a kid. These came out in 1988. 
the baseball card trader album. I still have my original one somewhere. It's in a box um, at my parents' house, or I, I have no idea, but it's been, it hasn't been that long since I've seen it, but I definitely remember having this as a young kid and having like the 91 Upper Deck Pirates team set or something uh, along those lines in there. And you got a free 88 Tops card. This one was Phil Garner. Phil Garner. Apparently there's a piece of gum in there too, which I can't tell where it's at, but... Uh, these you don't see very often at all carded. Like, if you do an eBay search on, on these, there might only be a couple on there, if that. But I never come across them carded, so I was like, I can grab that for 10 bucks. Even if you do find them carded online, they're about 20 plus. But these were, like, exclusive to Kmart. You see here, we hope you're happy with your Kmart Superstar Trader album. It will offer you the best protection for your valuable baseball cards. In that case, for me, it was Pirates Team Sets. And the index below will fit in the pockets of your album for quick reference and identification. So this definitely takes me back seeing this. And I don't plan on opening it. I will definitely keep it um, sealed and uh, cherish it. So it holds 24 cards. And you get a Phil Garner 88 tops that's off center for free. But for 10 bucks, I wasn't passing on that at all. So I left there after finding a couple things. And made my way around the different antique malls, ones that I've uh, visited before, a couple different card shows, and the one in particular, so I was going to go to Hartfield, but it already happened, like I said, so I went out to another one that happened to be going on in Cuyahoga Falls that was at uh, Amidio's. It's like the one that was advertising 100 plus uh, vendors. There was a lot of people there. I didn't really see a whole lot that I was after. They had vintage there, but it was a lot more uh, saturated with modern cards i didn't really see any modern rookies that i was looking for i was hoping to find like a pull holes chrome rookie i uh, didn't see one of those there any other ones that were on my list but of course i came back with 1990 tops <laughs> so the very least i was like maybe i'll find a box of 90 tops because i don't have any boxes left to rip for my monthly series and i found a guy there that was selling these for a buck a pack and there's obviously one missing i was like hey will you uh will you sell that whole box he's like yeah if you want it, i'll give it to you for 30 bucks it's like 30 bucks for 99 tops wax nowadays is a very good price. So I picked it up, and uh, even better, the guy told me that this would go to the money from this sale and from his other sales would go to uh, buy Christmas gifts for um, kids. So even better, we'll rip that on the first, as always. And making my way around that, that was all I bought from that card show. So I went to another one. This was actually in Hartville. That were advertising like an antique show that somebody else told me about a different place I stopped at. They're like, maybe you can go there and find cards. So I stopped by. Wasn't a whole lot, but I did come across this iconic and creepy Pee Wee Herman figure that once I got home, I noticed reeks of cigarette smoke. <laughs> it was in a $5 box. And I don't see these very often. I mean, these originally came in a box, as far as my memory. Um, serves but most of them that i come across that none of them actually work but there's multiple different Wee herman sayings that he did speak at one point and it's even creepier now that it does not no longer work but uh i had to grab this, this is for my collection it will sit on a shelf in my toy room i'm sure but uh i'll try to figure out a way to get that ashtray scent out of it but Wee herman definitely been through the ringer I couldn't leave it behind for five bucks from, uh, I think it's from 1988, I think was when uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse premiered. And I'm sure most of us uh, watched that show as kids. And I think that's how Lawrence Fishburne actually uh, got his like start to acting, which is pretty crazy. I never realized that till like many, many years later. But for five bucks, I couldn't leave the um, emphysema Pee Wee behind. Other pickups as far as card show, well, this is actually an online buy. And um, I know this is not so much in the past. This is 2022 Tops update or Tops Chrome update. J Rod rookie card. I didn't want to wait too long to pick this up. Um, I probably waited long enough as it was, but I grabbed this off eBay a few weeks back. I also grabbed this Bowman Chrome rookie just for my rookie boxes. And uh, I don't know what happened. I literally bought it on like February 28th, and it still haven't still haven't got here yet. So not sure what's going on with that and then my card show pickup i stopped in boardman ohio on the way back because they were having a show there at the mall and i couldn't really find anything that i was after i was hoping to find like a bob gibson rookie or something to cross off my list and i just did not see it maybe i was too late 
I came across this, Carlos Rodon, 2015 Chrome is a sparkle. I know he's going to start out 2023 on the IL for a little while, but uh, he won't, he'll miss opening day, but he'll be back in no time. So curious to see where 2023 is going to take him, but this was five bucks, and I've been wanting to get the paper for a while, and I was like, sparkle for five bucks? It's typically like in line with eBay prices, but... I think it uh, is a solid pickup for my rookie box for only five dollars. So that was literally it. I mean, I, uh, this this weekend I found more you know toys, novelty stuff than I did baseball cards, which is usually the opposite way around. But I still think I did pretty good finding things like this for five bucks for what they sell for uh, nowadays. And uh, I'm still, regardless, stoked on the purchases. It's nice to get out of the, out of your area for a while and go explore different territories. I will be hopefully going out of town for uh, several days here um, coming up soon and visiting a lot of uh, antique malls and hopefully make some videos out on the road for you guys. It's been a while since I've done that. But uh, I appreciate you all watching. I'd love to know what your favorite thing I came back with was. Drop me a comment down below. And um, I will see you back tomorrow night for the, uh, the newest version of the Retro Wax Box. So thank you guys all for watching and enjoy the rest of your weekend.